parish priest who happens to be Right Reverend Father Nyangere. He will actually introduce himself to us. Uh, we are actually here to get something from him. I want to invite you, Father, to, to give us what does it feel like being a father to, to this person, the, the, our brother who has, been, who has made this declaration today. What does it, that one does it have? How are you feeling like? What is the feeling of you being a father who has nurtured this son to the level he has come to today, that we are celebrating with him today? Mm -hmm. What is that feeling you, you can give us and to the community there to understand what we're celebrating today with our brothers? Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Thank you so much. Um, I'm called Father Reni Nyengere. As you rightly put it, I'm the parish priest of St. Stephen Catholic Parish. Uh, indeed, today it has been a great day, a special um, event to be the farewell party or farewell mass to our brother, Brother Nayo, and who has been joined by Brother uh, Bernard Asampa, Asampana. Uh, brother Nayo, as we all know, is from uh, Togo, and his brother, Brother Bernard Asampana, is from Ghana. So, personally, I am very happy, very happy to have lived with him this uh, beautiful moment of being together. Of course, we had a few challenges due to COVID-19. Uh, when he was appointed to our parish here, he was in Tanzania, in Arusha. And when he was appointed, in order to come, that time the country was in lockdown. Oh. So he remained in Arusha for some weeks before he came to Uganda. And it so happened at the time when he was coming to Uganda, I had left Uganda for my holidays in Malawi for my uh, resting for three months. Mm. So, but he, well, when I came back, then I found him here. That time he had already finished the, learning the language uh, at ESO in Achumet, as we, we, we heard him speaking the, the language. Everybody was excited. Uh, he has been quite good in learning this language and very fast. And he, in the community, we had good moments being together as brothers and uh, as my young brother, guiding him here and there uh, to make him reach where he has reached. Uh, it is my joy to say now uh, my young brother has finished this stage and now he's going to his home country for three months resting before he goes to South Africa to start his new um, stage of fourth stage, which is the final stage and those are the studies of theology. Mm. Oh, thank you so much, Father, for, for that word. Uh, in in a, a jiffy, I want to have heard you say is get going back to Togo, and I believe as missionaries of Africa, you you are from different nations. So some, they just pick you from, maybe probably, for your example, you're from Malawi, you've mentioned Togo. Give us that feeling. How does it feel living like Two countries, three countries in one. How? Wh what feeling is there that mm. you can share with us? That your experience. Mm. What is that experience that you want the viewers outside there to understand yeah. and to yeah. get that feeling of sure. being in, you know, intermarriage. Inter. They call it in in actually in marriages they call it intermarriages. But mm. in in sociology, like when you interface with a, a communities of different backgrounds, cultures. Mm. Mm. What feeling is there that you can... Yeah, it is a very en enriching experience. Uh, um, personally, uh, I must say this is... Uh, Uganda could be my maybe my 10th country in Africa. Oh. I have not been outside Africa. My movements have been basically in Africa. In Africa. Uh, uh, I started my journey of becoming a missionary of Africa in Tanzania, where I did my philosophy for three years. And then from there, uh, before I came there, I had a chance. When we got our passports, they said, let's put our passports in practice. So we went to Zambia. Oh. Then from Zambia, we went to Tanzania for three years. Then from there, I was appointed to Burkina Faso, oh. where I went to do my novitiate. So Burkina Faso, then he, within that time when we were in Burkina, we had a chance of going to Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Still continuing. I we were 
at the a very critical point where we had already started enjoying the process of yeah what life is so that's part of it. That's it. Yeah, so I was saying, eh, so uh, when I was there in Burkina Faso, I had the chance of being in uh, um, Ivory Coast, and then also Mali, Mali, um, Bamako, their capital city there. And then from there, I left for Congo. So you can be counting those countries, oh. Congo. And I was in Congo, when I was in Congo, I had a chance of going to Burundi and Rwanda. Oh. Burundi and Rwanda. So and then, uh, after my studies in theology in Kinshasa, I was officially appointed to Uganda. Now I'm in Uganda since 2014, after my ordination, because I was ordained on the 16th of August 2014. Since then, I came to Uganda in, that was on the uh, 2nd of October uh, 2014, I landed in, in, in Uganda. So since then, I have been here in Uganda. So to just briefly answer your question, it's a feeling of joy. Yeah. But he, he, we are missionaries. Yeah. We are not explorers like those he, explorers yeah, who, came to, uh, yeah, who came to Africa to explore or looking to for looking for mountains or some diamonds. No, our purpose of movements are to proclaim Christ, to proclaim the gospel, yeah. to preach the word of God. Yeah. And uh, that's what gives us joy. So I am a priest, so... My greatest joy is to preach the word of God. And that it, uh, that's <coughs> what I have been doing here in Uganda. And the, I started in Sherry, Sherry Relief Center, Kampala. That time as a young priest, I arrived, they told me, we would like you first to stay in Uganda, in Kampala, Sherry Relief Center. So I was there for a year, uh, preaching the word of God, baptizing, giving Holy Communion, something like that. And then afterwards, I got that chance of coming to Katabi, which now has become my home. Wow. Since 2015, September 17th, I have been here up to date. Wow. So it's a feeling of joy. We encounter challenges here and there, but the challenges are part and parcel of life. Uh, so just to say, I am happy and I encourage this young brother of mine, or my young brothers, the two, to keep going. To keep going. We, we leave our countries, it's not a source of joy because uh, you know, east west home is the best. Uh, east west home is the best, and that's why we thank also the Society of Missionaries of Africa, which gives us chance to go back rest. That's why he's going back to to rest and to be with his brothers and sisters. Uh, they are both going to join their family, biological families, and it's a it's a beautiful moment. Oh, yeah, surely, I, I surely see. Uh, this is a very beautiful moment as you explain to us. You now as the Bible says, I quote the words of Jesus when he charged his disciples that go ye unto all the nations and preach the gospel. To they who receive you, sit, dine and share with them. To they who refuse, who reject you, dust off and continue with the journey. We are so privileged as a community of Katakui and St. Stephen Parish in particular to have you as our yeah. people, as the missionaries of Africa, yeah. and actually to, to assure you, the impact you are causing in Kataku is immense, and the yeah. whole world surely will have to witness, because the projects you are doing in Kataku as a parish and a, a dinner in general yeah. are amazing, and mm -hmm. we really want to thank you. Yeah. Uh, bringing you to the period we are in now, you know we are in the Lenten period, and we are advancing towards that great moment that we rejoice with our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to give us a message, give to our viewers here, all the viewers who are listening, a message, what message do you have for them for Easter? As we journey with Christ, as we await for Palm Sunday, as we, we walk with Christ in victory, in joy, rejoicing for that great victory that we have earned as believers. What message do you have for the Christians outside as we move to the great feast of Easter. Mm. Yeah. yeah, um me the message is a, a message of peace. A message of peace. Um I personally um would say for me this is the greatest the summit of our faith, the Holy Week. We we entered into a special moment. You remember when we received the ashes on our forefronts? 
And now we have been moving with our Lord. Today we have celebrated the fifth Sunday of the Lenten period. And we shall this whole week keep on meditating upon the suffering of our Lord Jesus. And then on Sunday we shall have this special procession with our branches, palm branches in, on our, in our hands and singing Hosanna, uh, son of David, entering into Jerusalem. It's a very special moment. And uh, for me, uh, it's, it's the time I live my faith. It's the time I live really my deep conviction of who I am as a Christian. And uh, um, the, the greatest message I can say to people is, please, let's be together with our Lord Jesus. We have to enter with him in a way we need to die with him and in order to resurrect with him. That's my message. And the, um, just to say, um, this Holy Week, uh, we better walk with him. Because some will betray him. Some will abandon him. Some will run away from him. But what about you? What about me? How shall we be with him? Uh, so it's better that we enter into this Holy Week while walking with him, without betraying him, without denying him, but rather accepting to die with him so that we can resurrect with him. And you know that after the resurrection, his message is always a message of peace. When he appears to the apostles after the resurrection, his message is always peace be with you. And that is my message also to all those who are going to enter into Jerusalem and walk with our Lord, die with the Lord, and resurrect with the Lord. I say to you all, peace be with you. Amen, amen, amen. Wow, wow, wow. That has been a great, a great one, a great one to wind it up. As it has already been said, the a million dollar question today is how are you going to walk with Christ as we journey to the to the Holy Week? Are you going to be the one that is going to betray him? Or you are going to stick with him up to the last? That remains to you to decide as we walk to the to the Holy Week. Uh, thank you so much, Father. You're welcome. And we actually hope to always have such interactive moments that we share with our viewers. You know, the world at this particular moment, when the world is grieving, there are a lot of things. The world needs this admonishment. The world needs Christ. The world needs the gospel mostly. And we are so privileged to have you today to share Especially with us. Uh, Ukraine and, and Russia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well we hope to receive also that message of oh, peace yeah, be sure. with you. The world is crashing up mm -hmm. and they need this peace that we have shared today. And we are so delighted to, thank you so to have that with you. And we hope for the best. And thank you for the weekend. Very welcome. Probably a word of we, we, uh, the viewers outside there will need a blessing as we wind up. Mm. Yeah, we can. The Lord be with you. And May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much to all our viewers. We've been live on ECOP TV. And be sure to, to click and subscribe to our channel to be in touch to always be updated with all sorts of events that we bring onto your onto your desk and to your viewers' desk. We bring you spiritual enrichment, sports, entertainment, and all that you need to know. Thank you so much and have a blessed week.